I'm Linda, and welcome to my workshop. This workshop is full of craziness. It's full of fun with all kinds of fibers, and I'm always wanting to challenge you to just go outside your, your comfort zone. Let's just try something new. Something new for me is knitting, and I'm quite delighted with it because it really is so simple so far, I think. Um, on today's show, we're also going to have some wonderful denim skirts, so we're going to show you that, and then we've got a surprise coming up at the end as well. But helping me with my knitting, because I'm really not a knitter, is my friend Joy Fox. And Joy, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you, Linda. Yeah, it's great to have you. It's lovely to be here. Thank you. Joy and I met on a knitting slash sewing or sewing, sewing slash knitting. It's a cruise where we did both. And I did the sewing part, you did the knitting part. Mm -hmm. And I got you sewing and you got me knitting. True. I, I was just delighted. Mm -hmm. And this is actually the bag. I'm so proud of my little oh, bag. Oh, should be. I it's think beautiful. it's just a beautiful thing. Isn't it lovely? And I created that, and I don't know how to knit. So no, you did a super job. You promise everybody out there that they can do this too? Absolutely. All right, show us Anybody how. can do show it. Us. Well, what you've started here is the top of a bag, which is going to end up this like size. This. All right. I like these circular needles. They're wonderful, aren't they? 16 <laughs> inches long, and they're just perfect. Like this, this whole size thing bag. is 16 yeah, inches. 16 inches, yeah. and its size is 8 millimeter. Okay. 40 stitches. 40 stitches. 100% wool. Okay. It has to be 100% wool to felt. Joy, you kind of sucked me in on this because you yeah. see, I thought, oh, I'm just going to do another row, you know, before I go to bed. Mm -hmm. And there's no end to these no, rows; it just, it just keeps going, going round and round. Going. So I had the thing done. In short order. Well, I you mean, did. You did. I couldn't stop. Like, it's a good job I was in the next bed supervising. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So that's what yeah, I think is great about great. circular needles. Yeah, so. it's, it's really great. And this is what you end up with. So this I've was where I started, or where you started. Where you started. I and then you added some it. novelty, which I thought was kind of neat there. Yeah. Kind so of that tones in kind of nicely, looks good. It? And yeah. then you just... I, I did a three-needle bind off at the bottom. But a person like me could just stitch it. Stitch. Yeah. Okay. It won't show anyway when it's felt. All so right. That's a great thing about so it. So now we need a handle for this. Now we need a handle for this. And this is the I-cord handle, which I if you have a look at your that sounds pretty complicated. beautiful bag here, you can see that it makes a really nice, strong Oh, well, I was very cord. impressed once you got me going at it. This is what yeah. it looks like before it's felt. Okay. Would you like to see how I to do that? sounds a little complicated. Is that well, no, I call it, I stands for idiot, which <laughs> really means idiot. that anybody can, can do, do it. it. No, no, I no, did no, it. No, yeah. Yeah. And and I anybody know, can do this. it. Yeah. I don't know who named it. It's not very kind. But, no, but it's, it's, but it's, it's true. It's true. Okay. All right. So, you so put what we're going to do is cast on three stitches. Okay. So now we've got two, and now I've got three. Okay. Now we're going to knit one row. Okay. And that's just plain old knitting. I plain old like knitting, it. what yeah, you I were like doing it. over yeah. there on the couch. Yeah, yeah. All right. And then now this when is you the get to, part. you slide it along to the right hand side of the needle. Because you okay. can use either side of these you needles. Use both to yeah. Double points, has to be double points. Okay. And then you're going to wrap the yarn around the back. Okay. And we're going to do another row. And what happens magically is that this thing it starts turns to into turn a, into a coil. Exactly. It turns into a lovely long tube, which when it's felted down will make a very strong, sturdy handle. So let me just look at the back of that cord. So that cord was over there. It was over there. And, and now it's, it's now coming, coming out here. Over there. And that's what twists it. And that's what twists it. And you just keep doing that until it's as long as you want it. You know, I mean, that was so brainless. That was so nice. It was really... And exactly. I mean... I'm sure there's complicated knitting, but this is so soothing because oh, it's this just is so mindless. And simple, and yeah. everybody needs to have mindless knitting in their hands <laughs> yeah, once yeah, in a while. Good. I yeah. also liked it because I said, and I just, what if I make a mistake? And you said, well, you can't make a mistake, but I like this part. You just pull this out and you said, yep, gone. Okay. Gone. No harm done. <laughs> no harm done. Okay. No harm done. So you've got yeah. this, and then you stitch mm -hmm. it or you put it on. There's some little fun things you here. You can I use these D rings. So they actually go over Which you can like get that. at craft stores. Yeah, and then you just screw that one back you in and you've got a little handle the bag. Yes. that you can exactly. hook that to if you wanted, exactly. or a commercial handle or exactly. whatever. So whatever type yeah. of handle yeah. you want. I personally like this. I thought this was really good. Oh, so we just stitched that on Yeah. and then felted the whole thing. I felted the whole thing. Oh, I forgot to talk about the, the flap part. How did you get well, that? Well, if you want a flap, all you've got to do is pick up um, the stitches from one side to the other 
and then gradually decrease until you get a point, or for instance, like this one, and you know, until you've got a, a square piece. Or whatever. whatever. Or, so, whatever. or have not. Yeah. I mean, it really doesn't matter. There are have no rules. It. Whatever you want, you can do with this particular poster. Because <laughs> in this case, you just I like it. Made a I just did a little loop on yeah. that one. So you've just added novelty yarns really to this, these. Yes, yes, that's right. This is the yarn you that went to You do have a off. beautiful red one over there. What's well, that about? this was knitted on straight needles. It's unfinished. I have not stitched it together. So somebody but who doesn't want to do the circular exactly. thing could just make a straight Yeah, piece. a lot of people are not comfortable with circular, yeah, yeah. so they can just stitch it down here and here okay, and okay. finish it off. All right. And so how are we going to felt it? Tell me how, how you're going to felt it. it. Okay. I use a top-loading washing machine okay. because it has more agitation than okay. a front loader. And we don't have to go buy a new one. We can just no, use no, whichever no. we've can, got. You can yeah. use whatever you have. Okay, it's sure. Just, it's more sure. agitation with the top loader. Just a little bit of water and so The lowest cycle. Okay, okay, but the hottest water you hottest can get. Water. The mm -hmm. hottest water you can get. Okay. And about a tablespoon of the, the you know, the washing liquid that you normally sure, sure. use. Yeah, yeah. And then just put the machine on and wait for magic to happen. And it does. It does. Yes. You'll lose about a third of this in, okay. in the shrinkage yep. part of it. And I can put it, it in the dryer? You can put it in the dryer afterwards, depending on... Um, I always put mine in the dryer, actually, sure, sure. because I just want to dry More them off. More heat is good and it's going to shrink. I watch them, because okay. if you get a crease in this in the, in the washing process, it will stay. Okay. All right. Then you've gone ahead and done some more decorating. So let's I have. do some more decorating yes. to this one. I'll show you. So here is. This is your. your this is called needle felting. This okay. process. Okay. Here's all your instruments. Okay. So exactly. this is the result that you're going to get. You're going yes. to get some raw wool yes. like this roving, and you're going to put it on yes, there. Yes, exactly. I am. So if you're going to put that in there, I'll and just lay these out so you can sort of see. Use these tools. I'm not going to use the foam today. The foam is good for a very large area such as this or this. Okay. But this little that brush little thing slips right perfect, inside yeah. the bag, and it's going to work perfectly. So we'll just pop that out of the okay, way. Okay, so I could get you some, or you have some my needles. Pull some of this out. Yes. Um, okay, you like that, that one? Or you don't? Well, it's not a very good contrast. You really need you Why don't we use this one? Okay, all right. Yep. I like that contrast better because okay. it picks up sure. the color that's in there. Okay. And we'll just make a little flower here. And first, we'll five needles in one. Okay. And they have that's barbs the rig, on them. isn't it? Do not then. stamp your fingers. <laughs> that would hurt. It's going to hurt. That would hurt. Okay. But basically, those are barbs, and that just They're meshes barbs. those two Exactly, and it meshes together. all the fibers yeah. together. And, do and then I'm going to do it with a single one, and this one you can use for definition. That's Don't exactly. go away, because Joy's going to join me for the next session, and we're going to do some wonderful, crazy denim skirts. Thanks. Guests of our show stay at Travel Lodge. Nice rooms, great people. Models provided by Chan International. Number one in personal development training, modeling, and acting. you stayed because we've got some fun stuff good you love to recycle i, I know do. that I and your clothing and your jeans Everything. and all that stuff like you don't throw away anything. i don't like to throw things away no, no I and I'm, I'm the same so we've mm. got to make something out of them so i'll show you some stuff to Ooh, make so come on over here thank you and here is the jean the jacket that we made from jeans last year oh my god so these actually are the legs of the legs. jeans this is where your foot was mm. these are the bottoms of your jeans chop them off they now become arms what an incredible idea pockets here yeah. from the jeans why would you make pockets yeah. when you can find them so well, you exactly. use them exactly you just yeah. cut it all to pieces and look and there's pockets you didn't even know a you secret needed. pocket in yeah. the back yeah. there yeah. so we've had a lot of fun with that oh, people yeah, just really love that show so that Ooh. was last year but now this year we've taken oh, one year. pair of jeans uh -huh. And made it into a skirt. What do you I mean, done? this is not just your ordinary skirt. Oh my god! It's just fun. So you add bits of stuff around the bottom. Let's look at the back. Isn't that great? So that was your jeans, and you can see. But you haven't cut any pockets off this one. No, just left no, because you intact. want that waistband. Well, you you want don't want to have to do that yeah, again. Okay. And we couldn't resist. Once we got oh. this done, we said, "Well, it's like a little tie top that oh, sort exactly. of matches this matches and in. goes together." So perfect. Yeah, you want one of these? I do. I do. Well, how about a black one? A black one would be good. A black one. My jeans are black. Yes. Yes. Go. So you add some black things yeah. and add some fringe and a little add dangles. some stuff and whatever. I guess you can add whatever you want to. Yes, you? there's no yeah. rules to this game. No. Thank you. 
And actually, I should show you these ones before we go and start doing it. Uh -huh. Because are these neat or what? Oh, are they ever They funky? started out as a pair of jeans. Look at that. And you just cut. What well, is rip them. Yeah. Well, actually cut them because you can't even cut rip them. them. Mm. And then let them put them in the washer and they'll go like this. And, that's what and you can wear them like this or yeah. you can chop these you off can and chop put them, them on our skirt. And you can use the dangles. Yes, oh, yes, yes. That is so ingenious. Oh, we have such fun. We you do. So you need to have a pair of jeans that fit you. So, um, and you, They're you know, they don't have to be... pair that's ready. Okay, yeah. and they don't yeah. have to be functional jeans no. just as long as they still yeah. fit around the yeah. waist. Because that's really the joy of doing this skirt is that you don't have to do pockets and waists and no. all that stuff. No. You just do the bottom. No. So what I did then was I took, see, this was like that and this was like that. I just undid that mm -hmm. up to the zipper okay. and then lay it flat right. and then all you have to do is top stitch that yes. and now look we've got functional skirt down to here yes I could add a little piece in there if I wanted yeah, and I could make it could, longer yeah. but yeah you kind of have to decide how long you want yes. this mm -hmm. so then I put a skirt on it and we oh just God, cut out a bunch of pieces and you have a pattern. Yes, help. <laughs> actually there is. But you need to use some fabric that's kind of sheer yes. and kind of drapey. Yeah, it drapes and beautifully, you can do doesn't it? Hem and mm. whatever. And I usually use about three layers. So there's mm -hmm. one, two, three. Yes. But you decide how many. It doesn't yeah. really matter. There's no yeah, rules. There's no, no, no. rules in the So now I want to then, yeah. that looks like more plain. So that's right. the back. So this would be mm. the front. Mm -hmm. And I need to make this to fit. And if it doesn't fit, I can just overlap it a little you bit can more. Just so I can right. make it fit. But I could have it yeah. come up here yeah. or down here, depending on how long I want yes, this. Yes, depending, right. Sure. And then I'm going to kind of fill that up, because it looks right now a little bit too much, like I sort yeah, of sewed a skirt on the bottom of that. So. Yeah. so let's just fold that one, yep. because, and bring this one over, because here we go. We have one that I've sewn the skirt onto. So if you look under here, mm -hmm. there's where I've sewn that skirt. Oh, exactly. And around right. the back, yeah. there it is, sewn yeah. on there. It hasn't even got sewn there no. yet, so... That's what's going to go in there. Then I want to kind of fill up this space here yes. with some stuff. And, and this is where you'll have fun. Oh, I will have fun. Yeah. But, but tell me, what's this? That's a piece of leather. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, let me see if I can find some leather here. I've got lots of goodies. Because, I mean, this is where your collection box of oh, all exactly. kinds of things. All these little pieces that yeah. you can use. Here's my leather. Mm -hmm. And what I'm going to do is I could actually take a strip of leather like this mm -hmm. and cut some fringe. Mm -hmm. So if I want to add a piece of fringe like this, yeah, you can just cut I can it. then just cut some fringe. Mm -hmm. And then, so you decide how much and yeah, how long. Going. Then what oh. I'm going to do is I'm going to put this tape. And this tape is... And what is this so, tape? It's called leather tape. Leather and I tape. use it so much. It's sort of like basting tape, but it's a lot stronger. Mm. It's what's used in the leather industry when they do hems and stuff on garments. Oh, really? You just put this on and yeah. it'll stay through dry cleaning. So mm -hmm. there is the tape on the back. It's and, then, yeah. right. and then you could put this wherever, mm -hmm. you, wherever want, you want, and you can cover it up a little bit. I also stitch. I don't just really... really no, I was, I was going to ask you if you stitch all this by machine, or do you do any by hand? Oh, I do by machine, You're really, by machine. because you can yeah. get in here. You know, yeah. this, is, this is one layer in here. Yeah. You can get in there and stitch that by machine as much as you can do by machine. Yes. But you can do it by hand. It sort mm. of depends if you want to spend your time in your sewing room or sitting watching TV, because <laughs> really a lot of this can be done by hand. Uh, what I do avoid is trying to sew too much on this pocket because mm -hmm. I want that pocket want to still to be, be functional. functional. So yeah. if I was to sew that on there, I'd be yeah. wanting to sew that by hand so yes, I could just sew would. it through that yeah. layer. Yeah. So you kind of decide how much stuff and what kind of stuff. Oh, baby, you could put more on this, couldn't Okay, we? let me show you how I do this other little thing, which is a leather again. I love scraps of leather. This could be an old leather coat. This could be yeah. some leather jeans or something yeah. that you had. So I'm just going to cut sort of a shape about like that. Okay. And then I'm going to put some tape on the back of it. And this okay. is just going to allow me to stick it onto mm -hmm. the garment. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to put, say, three. And I call this technique, it's, it's a very complicated technique. It's called scrunch and plunk. Do you think you can do this? <laughs> I think I can do it. <laughs> okay. So you put all the tape on there. Yeah. And you pull the tape off. And then... You've got sticky. And see, the joy of not using glue is that glue is going yeah. to get where you don't want it to get. Yes. But this tape is, is not it's, going to spill. No. And then you see the tape kind of sticks to itself. Oh, it sticks to itself. Yeah. It's yeah, called so kind ingenious. of spastic gluing. I have to have some of that. have to do this. That's for sure. So probably don't put it right front row center. Put it somewhere over here. Yeah. And then it just all sticks. And I would sew around that as well, but that, that'll yeah. just kind of hold yeah. it and It'll just kind of gives it. it some texture. Isn't that great? So I like to have so hangy things because that oh, makes yeah. me look longer I like, I like and feel hangy taller. Things too. So hangy you can take, stitch, just mm. cut some of these pieces. Would you put something like that on there? Sure. 
You can just so. cut some chunks like this. So like ritzy and jazzy. So just take different textures. That's what you need to do is kind of yeah. collect. And, I suppose and you can you use some of that. You could use Remember that. Remember these uh, pieces here. I actually took this pair of jeans uh -huh. and took the legs off and chopped them into long pieces. Oh, and they've twisted. And they've twisted. So, so now you've got corkscrews so to now, hang. Yes, exactly. There you go. So that could go on here, and that kind of ties that to yeah. that. Yeah. So I found that that is just quite a bit of fun. So you decide what you want. What we did with that other one that you saw is we had some of this fabric. Oh, it was so stunning. And then I said, well, let's make a little lacy top to go. So yeah. that tie top just works together. Because oh, what are you going to wear with this? That's the perfect. other dilemma. So... So you decide what you I want would, to do. I would wear a very on. simple black sweater with this because yes. the design is in the skirt. It is. And it you is. don't want to take it away from it with something So too I think you've top. got the idea on this. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> well, try to use fabric that doesn't fray because you, this yeah, is a knit, okay. see, so that doesn't yeah. even really have to be finished. Yeah. This is just rolled hem along that edge, mm -hmm. so that's fine. Yeah. Um, some of this lacy stuff doesn't need to do anything with. So, yeah. so you just kind of look in your scrap bag and just kind of dig around. I've, yeah, I've got I lots of stuff it. like this, yeah. and I know that you would have to. Sequins are good, oh. and beaded fringe, that's oh. quite wonderful. That would be but I would nice. say, Joy, the only yeah, thing that I would sort of recommend at the end, don't put it all on one skirt, because it's so tempting. You think, oh, I've got some of this. Yeah, well, how do you know when enough is enough? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But I would say less, and it sounds strange coming yeah. from me, less yes, is better than less more. Is more. You can more. always add. So yeah. I would say yeah, wear it a little away. bit and then decide. And then yeah. if you want to put some more on, put a little bit more on. Yeah. You can decide. Um, I think that's too But much. this is an absolute one of a kind. And, oh, um, it's beautiful. You will stop traffic in this one. I know you I will. will. So. I will. That's great. So yeah. thank you, Joy. Thank you. I, I think I've got wow. you going on I've this. I've learned a lot. That's <laughs> super, and I'm going to get knitting yeah, now. I, I know do what like to do with my jeans when I get home. Yes, you do. And yes, I'm going to do, do some more knitting, and then yeah. we're a good team. I shall want to see what you've done. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and don't you go away, because we've got a good one coming up. topics today. One is embroidery, which is a wonderful one, and then there is quilting. And we're going to work the two together, which I think is going to be great fun. And I've told all that I have to do is press this start button, and this little number will just keep on making my quilt block, which is great, and embroidery. So helping me with this is Debbie Bates, and it's great to have you here. Hi, Linda. Thanks for having me. So you must, this is what we're going to do right now. This is what's being done. We're making a quilt block. Perfect. And so what is the issue with embroidery and quilting? What, what is the problem? Is there a problem? No, like there's no there's problem. No, okay. There, you know, the embroiderers and yeah. the quilters didn't think they shared any common ground, but they do. Okay, because embroiderers usually use a lot of stabilizers and stuff, mm -hmm. and quilters don't. Is that, is that where the right. dilemma might have come? And, and quilters have maybe a set recipe or repertoire of how they put together their quilts, and they maybe haven't heard of any new options, but okay. I think we have some. All right. Well, I kind of like the sound of this, because I like to open the doors and stretch the boundaries, That's and right. this is what we're going to do. So when we did this quilting, when we set that up for the machine, you've got a top fabric and a bottom fabric, and you've got some quilt bat in there, yes. and I don't have any stabilizer then. Nope, your typical quilt sandwich, and that's often enough to stabilize your fabric. Okay, so what you're saying is I'll probably do a sample first, though, to before I yes. go gung yes. on this. Yes, always do a sample, no matter what your design is. Okay, so I like the idea that I can just tell my machine to go and make me a whole bunch of these, mm -hmm. and then I can just put them together. Have you got a nice little sample? We're yes. using a quilt-as-you-go method. Okay. So you're making independent quilt blocks. You can make a whole stack of them for a queen-size quilt and then sash them together. Yes, 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 yes. And okay. there won't be any fussing a big quilt through the machine afterwards. Okay, all right. I like that idea. So then let me hear the story on some of the rest of these then. So this is, this is the one that we're doing. So what is happening here? Here we've got a beautiful floral butterfly design that we wanted to work into a quilt. This is too heavy to quilt with, because remember, quilting is stitching together three layers. Yes, yes. So we've made these blocks, and then we've quilted with what looks like a stipple design. So if you don't want to dive into stipple yet, but you want to use your embroidery, you can quilt, hold your three layers together with your embroidery. And we just repeated the stippling eight times around the block. Okay, so this is automatic stippling then, so not mm -hmm. sort of like the scribbling I did all over this. I call this one scribbling, but this is real <laughs> stippling then. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right, I get, I get that. All right, let's look at this one. 
So I like to jokingly call this my three-minute quilt. Oh, of course, you oh, can't do it in three minutes. minutes okay. but, but your machine, if the machine cooperates... You each of these blocks in three minutes. Okay. So really, the longest amount of time involved was cutting all the blocks. <laughs> yes, yes. So we just kept hooping and hooping and making three-minute blocks. And then I see these little deals And we here. tacked them together. Okay. So that's what's holding our quilting. It's so a tacking you, stitch, okay. just like an old-fashioned tied quilt, okay. where it's not yeah, firmly yeah. And this is all programmed in your machine? Mm -hmm. We just picked a decorative okay. stitch to use. I'd like the look of this one. What's the story here? This you might call whole cloth quilting, where there's no cutting up of squares involved. There's just one big solid piece of fabric. So imagine a crib size quilt. You just keep moving the hoop around your fabric and setting up your design. So you get a whole cloth quilt in the end, and it's just embroidery designs that have come through to the back. Oh, nice. So it looks the same on the back as it does on the front, then, mm -hmm. really. And that would just be in your thread selection, your fabric selection, and balancing your tension, too. Typically, machine embroidery brings the tension, pulls it to the back, so if it's inside a garment, you don't notice a secondary tension okay, in the back. Yes, okay. But with quilting, you want things to just meet in the middle in of the, middle, the sandwich. Yes. So play with your tension right. a little bit, okay. and again, test, just practice. Yes, I would suppose that is important. Okay, so now I've got this one and this one. Um, this one. This one. I thought you might like something with some bright colors. <laughs> some bright colors, <laughs> darn. Yeah, yeah, this is good. So here we've used the daisy motif as our inspiration, mm -hmm. and then we picked a design that would go with it. And something is this light built into airy. the machine? Like, is this something that... This is one of the designs you get with okay, the machine. Okay, yeah. Sure, sure. And so these blocks are made individually, put mm -hmm. them all together, just like our other quilt, okay. but then we've quilted with an embroidery motif. Okay. So these just are on all the intersections. Okay, is this going to be an issue trying to put that exactly there? Well, getting them to line up right on the corner can be a little tricky, but we have a little oh, secret weapon. Okay, let's see the trick. This is our this cloth is setter. Okay. And so. what we do is we have our fabric. So say this was our join here. We set the hoop in the cloth setter. Okay. Line it up with the arrow. It doesn't automatically line up. You've got to fiddle around. You'll, you'll fiddle it into the okay. hoop, get it just right, but then you know that your design is going to land centered right there. Okay, and you've hooked this in so that that can't move. Yep. And this will then come out, lift up. I see. It. And you'll run like over we, to your embroidery like we machine. We kind of fake that one, but I see. You've, you've, <laughs> got, to, you've got to get that lined up. Mm -hmm. And then you take that hoop, which is already set up, mm -hmm. and you take it over to that machine. And you do what you just did. You push the button. Okay. It's looking good. You're a quilter and an embroiderer. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I like it. I like it. we got to go because we've got, of course, more things to be doing. Yeah. But thank you so much for joining us. You're very welcome. Been... To receive the companion book for this series with all of the project details, send 1998 to the address on your screen or call one 888 mcphee or visit us on the web at www.mcphee-workshop.com. Sponsored in part by... Genomi, quality sewing machines since 1921. And by Rowenta, the garment care experts, meeting the needs of the sewing enthusiasts for over 100 years with high performance irons, steamers, steam generators, and ironing boards. And Wonderfill specialty threads. Thread for the way you sew. And by the Woolen Mill Store. Your source for quality fabrics and more. Featuring the largest selection of wool and wool blend. Yardage from Pendleton Woolen Mills. And by Horn of America. Experience quality, innovative ideas, and customer service. And Creative Festival. Bursting at the seams with hundreds of industry experts, conference classes, exhibits, and more. Experience creativity in the making.